Hello, 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 everyone. Mary Lou Andre back again with another edition of Beyond Dressing Well Live. We have another wonderful program for you all tonight. I am just back from sunny Florida where I had a little bit of um, my own spring break, which was super nice to get my face in the sun. I also stopped on the way, did a little bit of a layover in Washington, D.C. and spent some time with my son, Tim. So it was an awesome getaway. And I'm back energized, rested, and ready to share a brand new program with you all tonight. So before we get into the actual program, which is March Shopping Madness, for those of you who always feel on the sidelines. I know I usually do when March hits because I live in a house of all men and it's all about the sports all the time. I thought we would do a program tonight for us and call it March Shop Madness. So I will get into where I shopped, who I shopped for when we get into the juicy part of our program. Again, I was in Washington, D.C., and then I was in Florida, and I spent time with my mom and my aunt and my good friend June and a couple of special clients and, of course, my son Tim in D.C., so I did do a lot of shopping. But before we get into that part of the program, I just wanted to do some catching up and actually properly put March say goodbye to March. I can't believe it's the last Wednesday of March. It seems like we were just here kicking off the month of March, but here it is, uh, the end of March. And I just wanted to share with you all a couple of big moments that we had in the firm, things that we're really proud of as we, again, get ready to tie a bow on March and welcome April this Saturday. So first up, we were able to really celebrate our foundation this month. And for those of you that went to our program about the Karma of Clothing project that we did earlier in the month over at the you know, Community Council, you could really see how seriously we take the commitment of repurposing our clients' clothes in such an intentional and empowering way. So if you missed that program, Sarah can put any of the links up in the chat, but we did a whole program on how we donate our clients' clothes and how we partner with the Needham Community Council here in my hometown of Needham, Massachusetts, to really turn castaways into tools of empowerment. We also had the opportunity to support another one of the charities that we serve every year, Dress for Success Boston. I went to my first in-person event for them in many years. It was in the middle of a snowstorm, if you remember, uh, but it was so good to see. I was on that board for, oh, half a dozen years, so it was great to see all the, the folks that I worked so closely with, and we also do uh, a lot for them. We donate um, a lot of monetary support these days, but that was another wonderful March celebration. And then, of course, you guys all met Arthur Anton a couple weeks ago. Uh, his family, the Anton's Dry Cleaning family, runs Bell of the Ball, and we will be at Bell of the Ball this, this Saturday, April 1st. Sarah and I will be there coordinating and leading the Dressing Well team. We're really there to support the over 600 uh, volunteer shoppers, and we are expecting over a 1,000 girls. And this year, that event is going to be even more special. My son, John, and the Tufts football team will be um, there at 4 o'clock to help us break everything down. My mom will be there handing out things to the young women as they get ready to leave the event. It is magical. Of course, Sarah will be there. Sarah and her daughter Molly will be headed there Friday to do some pre-work, pull some dresses, do a lot of the show and tell that we do in the, in the volunteer training. And uh, Donna Kent from our board will be working with me, my good friend Ann Keating, Sue Coughlin from Foxborough, who I grew up with, a whole bunch of great 
personal shoppers that always show up year in and year out. So we are just delighted to be marching forward into April with that event on Saturday. The second announcement and the th second thank you and gratitude that I wanted to share is we have a Thrive Leadership Group. It's comprised of some of our senior level professional clients and we get together every month and we have a book club and we go on retreat. Some of you have heard me talk about this very special group of women, but we had for our March book club, a good friend of mine, Janice Daly, and her uh, book is The Unlocked Path. Oh my goodness, Janice is a first time author. I love the book. It was historical fiction, which is a little bit different for me. And it chronicles her grandmother, who was a physician, went to the Women's College of Medicine in Philadelphia right around um, the turn of the century, like 18, I think she was there like 1897. And um, just a fascinating read. Sarah can put that in the chat. I absolutely love the book. And of course, Janice was just such a delight sharing with us her journey of being a first-time author while holding a, a full-time job. And it all started with was her interest in family history that led her to now be an author. So if you have any hopes and dreams, it's never too old to grab hold of them and make them happen. It is one of my most popular uh, books that I've read in a long time. And I was so delighted in the month of March to share the the book and Janice with another special group of women. And then my third and last announcement before I get into this show and tell segment is we graduated our first cohort of 90 Days to Stellar Style for two, for 2023 on Monday night. This group of ladies was phenomenal. Not only were they committed to the process and to getting the results, which they all did, they were also so committed to one another. It was an absolute pleasure to be on the graduation call with them. I jumped on and listened to them share their wins, what delighted them about the program, what surprised them about the methodology. They were the first cohort to take the program using our Dressing Well Method videos, which are available to anybody in this community. Sarah can get the link up to the videos as well. But they, with the addition of the videos, we added some other new features. That is just a dynamite program. We are making some changes to it. And in two weeks, we will have a brand new program for all of you. So mark your calendars. April 12th, we're going to do a brand new program, How Not to Give Up on Your Style. And we're also going to announce our brand new group program. It will still be three months, thanks to these lovely ladies Monday night. I ran the whole plan by them and they gave us a big thumbs up. But we have a brand new program. We are actually retiring 90 Days to Stellar Style. So that group was the last one to take the program in its current format. But we have a new name, some new features. It'll still be led by the amazing Sarah Zengo. Sarah did an amazing job with this new cohort. And again, we were transitioning this year from going from teaching it live to using the videos and really having the six group sessions be just a blast. These women came, nobody missed, they all came, they all shut up from one another, they had great questions. The, the Facebook group became part of a party every week and they got the results. So I wrote a nice post in the Facebook group about these lovely women. They really captured our hearts and I just wanted to thank them so much for trusting us to lead them on this journey. A couple of them were on the fence when the when deciding whether to join and all of them, including the two that were on the fence, they've all reached out and thanked me for encouraging them because it really is transformational. And I wrote um, a nice recap 
about that program. So big kudos to them. If you can't wait to hear about the new details of the program, get on my calendar, get on Sarah's calendar. We are only going to sell eight spots this time. That's one of the changes we're making. And we already have two, two, um, we sold two this week. So if you are interested in getting in on that program, it starts uh, April 24th. Um, it's not too soon to learn about it. We're ready to go, but we're going to do the formal announcement in two weeks when we have a couple of additional things we're offering worked out. So two weeks, make sure you're here. We'll have some prizes, the announcement, the new name. We'll also have a really great class that corresponds with our methodology, which is how not to give up on your style. It's one of my favorite programs to teach, and I'm going to teach it in as we move into the new season. So if you want your wardrobe to really be high functioning in 90 days, the program's still gonna be three months, get yourself some more information. We do require a call, that program, we offer it, there's, there's several ways to take it, and we'd like to make sure that it's a fit and that's why we require the call on that. So that's all I'm going to say on that. We're also going to be off next week uh, in recognition of Passover. So tonight's the last night in March, and then we'll be back April 12th with a brand new program. Okay, so I am back from my vacation, and you are not going to believe what happened. I don't think this has ever happened to me in all the years doing this show. I can actually say years now because it's been over two years all the shopping I did in Sarasota, so so you know, and I will walk you through my week because I promised you that I would, and I promised I would do show and tell. I got on the airplane the the, the Saturday after St. Patrick's Day, so the 18th, I got on the airplane. I'll show you what I packed because I've had a lot of people ask me about airport style. So my show and tell tonight is in three categories, airport style, DC layover, because wait till you see the shopping I did there. I actually call it my DC, I, I think I had a shopping hangover on Sunday. And then I'm going to show you, we're going to profile one of the boutiques that I visited in Sarasota. I also shopped with my mom when I was there. And I also hooked up with my really good friend June Tarter, who we met up in Venice, and June gave me these beautiful earrings as a gift. Can you see them? They're vintage Chanel um, charms, I guess, and June, who's a jewelry designer, designed these for me, and I just love them so much, and I wanted to show you. So I had a really good fashion-focused holiday, and while everybody else was watching Ma March Madness basketball, I was having my own March Madness. Sarah just reminded me, we do have a cheat sheet tonight. Uh, we did, this is actually my March Shopping Madness Part 2. Last year, if you remember, I went and I, I showed you, I was shopping actually for my two boys, my, both of my boys graduated from college last year, so most of the shopping that I did was for the boys' graduation. Uh, this year was a little bit different, but we are sharing the cheat sheet from last year, which gives our very best, very best shopping tips for uh, boutique shopping when you're on vacation. So thank you, Sarah, for, for suggesting that I mention that. So go on this trip. All the stuff that I shot, a lot of the stuff I shopped with, one o'clock today, I find out that UPS, it is it is stalled in Warwick, Rhode Island. So I don't have my mom's wardrobe. And of course, I, I was bringing it all home to show you. And I don't have one major boutique that I hit, but I have everything else. So Leah, who works behind the scenes here, Sarah, they were like, you always have enough stuff. Go on with the show. So here we are. We are going on with the show. And by the way, we did post the replay of last year's uh, March Madness special. It's in the re we, we aired the replay last week. So if you didn't see it, you want to see it. it. It's one of our better ones. So got on the plane was very so before I even left for Boston as you knew no two weeks ago we did the St. Patrick's Day special here in the show so I was out shopping for the St. Patty's Day 
program and I also did a pre-shop for Florida. So I thought I would just walk you through everything I did and show you what I have and apologize for the things that I don't have. I was so bummed this afternoon and then I said, this is the biggest problem I have. I think I'm doing okay <laughs> that my UPS package didn't arrive today. But I went over to uh, Ann Taylor Loft just because I knew they had a lot of green and I was shopping for the St. Patty's Day show. And I just got a couple basics. Like I didn't end up wearing this on vacation, but I got a fresh t-shirt. So wanted to show, I that is one of my strategies. I can do it with this jacket. I can do it with my bathing suit, but I always like freshening up this time of year. And whenever I go on vacation, it kind of gets me an excuse to do it. The other thing I found over there, and I was just thrilled, is their athleisure wear, which is Lou in gray, is just fantastic. I got these little black running shorts. We were going to play pickleball in Florida, but we forgot our pick pickleball rackets, and I was too busy shopping anyway. I got these nice denim cutoffs just to have a new pair of those. I feel like shorts or something that I, I got to kind of pick up when I'm thinking about it because summer comes so fast and then it's over and you got to kind of pounce on these items early in the season or it's gone. I mean, retail, people that are in retail will tell you they don't overstock summer because it's the, it's the shortest season of the year. Then I, if you guys remember these little pants that I showed, oh, I think on the March top, the, the, our spring top 10 when we were focused on yellow. So I knew I had these and they, they fit great. And I try to exercise. I do play pickleball. But I saw over at Ann Taylor Loft this little top. Not that I would wear it like that. I would always put a layering piece over it. And then I saw this little top. So now I have an outfit and a pair of the sneakers that I bought in Sarasota have, they're these really fun new sneakers, very lightweight. I forget the brand, Cloud, I think they're called. And they have some yellow and gray on them. So I feel like I'm going to be looking for like a little yellow windbreaker and I'll be ready to go with a fresh new pickleball outfit. So that's what I wanted to share with you is Tip number one tonight is when you're getting ready to go on vacation, of course, you all know our philosophy. I was in my closet a month ago racking what I was bringing. I didn't overpack this time. It was a really, other than seeing my client, I had two clients down there this, this year, which was really fun to have clients in Florida. They were down, I was down. So I did, I brought two nice outfits to wear with them. But otherwise, I was really there just to go to the beach. And I did bring a nice outfit to go out with my son in DC. But otherwise, I was just really, really casual. Hello, Ann Keating. I see you. I saw you too, Lisa Livens. Um, so then when I was getting ready to go on the plane, and you all saw this on Instagram. By the way, we're trying to grow our Instagram account. If you're not following us on Instagram or if you have friends you think would like to follow us on Instagram, Sarah can put it in the chat. It's Dressing Well Boston. But I um, did, did a picture. I almost didn't post it. And oh my goodness, people went crazy with this outfit, which was so simple. But I think it speaks to people really craving that airport attire which can be challenging so you all know i went to ireland in october and i showed you 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 guys didn't even believe that i brought five coats i did and i showed you the next week how i got them in the suitcase case but i always start with my outerwear so in this case i was going to dc for two days then i was going to florida i on my list i really needed some new yoga pants. I think the last three years killed all my yoga pants. Truth be told, I am a lot of times dressed from the waist up. Um, but these, and these are, uh, Sarah also has a link tree tonight, which our partner, Leah, our amazing uh, online business manager, has done such a fabulous job getting you guys the links. You had asked us for those links for two years, and we finally got them. But these are my absolute favorite yoga pants. They're called Beyond Yoga. You can, there's a link. These are gray because my black ones are in the wash, but I bought a new gray and a new black this year just because I live in these and I was going on a trip. I wanted a really fresh new look. So I had the black leggings on. Then I had a long black sleeve t-shirt. 
I think Leah even has the brand that I wear in the links because I love it. Then I, I picked up this, this vest. Isn't it cute? It's Nike. I love that it's got the long in the back. I love that it was, it was light so that I'm not so, so dark. Uh, it has a zipper. I love this kind of faux belt because it looked so cute. And then this is the coat that I bought when I went to Ireland. And this is also a major trend. It's that jacket. This one is Zella. I got this at Nordstrom. And it's got a zip-in hood. And if you've seen those suit jackets that are out right now and they have the Dickies. Yes, Dickies are back. Those of, those of you who grew up in the 80s like I did. But this hood also zips out. So that's probably all. I'm going to do with that trend. I've been buying a ton of clients, like the suit jackets with the sweatshirt hoods, especially those that are in tech that go to the office every day. It's kind of a cute look. Um, but I did that, the leggings, the shell, no scarf this time. And of course, I'm a big old slob, so I love to have fabrics that are easy to kind of wash off and the black heights things. And then... I finally took my sneakers that I've been showing on this program every single week. And again, Leah has all the links for you. Sarah is going to link to the link tree. But these are the Paul Green sneakers. A little bit of a platform. I had to break them in because I'm going to wear them to Bell the Ball this Saturday. And last year I got a big old blister because I didn't break my shoes in correctly. But that's what I wore on the airport. And it was just awesome. I had my big black tote bag so that I could shop and bring stuff home, which of course I did so much shopping that I had to send the stuff home that didn't, didn't make it home. I digress. But that was number one, airport style. So think of your outerwear, your layering pieces, where you're going, how you're comfortable, and use trips as a time on your calendar to refresh some of your basics like I did. The sneakers, the leggings, you get the gist. And of course, when I was out and about, I also updated with a couple of fresh um, athleisure wear. I could not believe what I found at Ann Taylor Loft. I was delighted. And that's that. So we fly into DC. It is, it's cold on Saturday. It's not freezing cold, but it's cold. So I was like, huh, this is interesting. So I changed for dinner and we were, we had a rental car, so it didn't it wasn't that it didn't really matter that much. And we went to old Alexandria. Oh my goodness, I want to live there. We had dinner there with all the kids. It was so fun. And then we, you know, went back to our hotel. We woke up Sunday and it was 32 degrees. 32 degrees. So it had gone from 48 chilly to 32. Bright sunny day. We're in DC. We're planning on spending time outside. We are now just cracking up. So what do you think I did? I googled the closest mall. I found out that it opened at 10 a.m. Boy, it's nothing like being at the mall at 10 a.m. on a Sunday. And my husband and I went over and I'm so bummed that I don't have what I bought because it's in the box that got lost. The box will be here tomorrow, by the way, by noon, but it's not here for the live show. But I went into Banana Republic. Why banana? Again, I'm trying to give you guys some strategy and tips. Banana fits me. We were meeting my son at 12. We were going, going to be outside. We were freezing. We did not pack well. I'm admitting it. I don't know how I missed how cold it was going to be on Sunday, but I did. I got this amazing cashmere turtleneck. It, I saw it at Banana Bananas pricing has gone up, I've noticed. They have a lot of leather and cashmere that's really gone up in price. But I remember seeing the sweater back in, I don't know, October, November, and it was $400. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. But it, I put it on. It was 50% off. Plus, I had a $150 gift card to Banana. So I bought this sweater. It was light blue and sand so it looked light. It didn't look black or really heavy. I was so happy because I had my jeans. I had my sneakers. Then I bought a scarf. I bought a hat. And I bought mittens. And it was just amazing because it was so sunny out. I wasn't in dark clothes. The sweater was actually really, really bright. Not bright, but it was like a gray blue, which is good with my eyes. And it was like a khaki color. And then I had the scarf. I had the hat. They were all cashmere. And off we went to 
to meet my son. And I just layered underneath. I had what I wore on the plane. I put another shirt underneath. I didn't need a coat. And whenever it got really cold, I just stood in the sun. So back to Alexandria we went. And because I needed to see this, the shopping there, truth be told, I had just been in DC and had done all the monuments and all that in August. So the guys wanted to watch basketball and I hit anthropology. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I never had that much time. I think I was in there for two hours. They were like, where are you? I'm like, I'm having my own March madness by myself, three floors, huge store. And I just went floor to floor to floor. I picked things out. I I found um, some really cool pieces. I have most of it here. I Some of it's not here. I was really bummed. But let me show you that. We've got about five or ten. I'm gonna, I can go a little bit later tonight because this is fun. Um, so I got this little orange square neck tee. They had it in many different colors. I think Leah has it in the links. I'm loving the orange. Orange just caught my eye. So when I was out shopping before the trip, I, I, I just need some layering pieces. I needed some spring coats. You know me and the coats. But I this is a this is a, a J. Crew. And what caught my eye was the lining with the orange. Do you see the orange with the navy and the tan? And that's sometimes all it takes to get me excited and going in a new direction. So when I saw the orange, I grabbed it. I found this little um jacket before I went this is new and I love a classic navy and white stripe and do you see how soft this is it's like a sweater so this is how much I practice what I preach this is an older jacket this must be at least eight or nine years old I used to wear this with a navy pencil skirt I even had like a, a, a I think it was a geometric tied blouse and it's stiff it's denim so it's kind of cute but I'm definitely going to get, I'll probably retire this now because I replaced the category. This is like a sweater. I wore this in Florida. Again, I packed really light because I was just hanging out with my mom and my husband. And um, people were stopping me on the street for this jacket. So with the orange, it looked fresh. You can do it. The other colors that were really grabbing my eye at Anthropology was this blue and look at how gorgeous the blue looks with the orange. The other color that was grabbing my eye everywhere was this grass green. And I got this little top because I'm always, the things that I'm missing in the summer are the t-shirts, the layering pieces. I'm pretty good on the shoes right now. And then I just had a blast. I got this little tank. Isn't this the cutest thing? I'm going to use this like a bathing suit. And... We are going to, where are we going? Arizona, um, the, the last week in April, first week in May. And uh, so a lot of the shopping I did this time in Florida for me was for this trip. So I will probably use this as a bathing suit because I, I just love it. It goes so well, we're, we're staying at a resort it goes so well with this skirt, which I could use at the resort. I have so many weddings this year. I love the color. I love this with orange and yellow and green. And then I have, you know, these these don't owe me a nickel. They're really old Tory Burch, but they just look great on my foot. And look at how pretty that looks with the cobalt blue. So wanted to show you that. I'm also a sucker for these flutter sleeves. You guys know that I had a we did a whole program on flutter sleeves last year, but even um, one of the nights um, when I was down there, I had this top. I had paired it with this jacket, so I love like a stripe, like a stripe and a stripe. It just it all just kind of works. And then also at Anthropology, I saw this bag. And I just loved it because you can do a crossbody bag with it. You can do it as a clutch. It will hold my wallet. It will hold my phone. This basket weave was everywhere. The trends that I saw shopping were basket weave. Gauze was really big. Uh, a lot of linen. And I made a mistake with a pair of linen pants. They are a wrinkled mess. 
bought them at a little shop. Glad I didn't buy the matching jacket, but I will, I'll be able to wear them, but I won't be able to travel with them. But this bag I thought was adorable. Leah has this link for you as well. So, oh, and then also at Anthropology, uh, this blouse caught my eye. I like the sleeve. Isn't that cute? And you can wear this also as a little jacket. Like if you put a white tank top underneath it with jeans. And I also um, tied it. I I didn't wear it yet, but a lot of the shopping is, is for, we're gonna be in Arizona for six days and it's gonna be at a resort for my husband's a client. And then he and I are gonna go to Sedona. Um, but I had it on with jeans and I actually did this. Let me show you. And it looked super cute. Also, over a bathing suit, you get the gist. My proudest moment there was, and people were going crazy, because I was in there for two hours, no joke, is this top was actually sold as a dress. So it's got pockets, and it's certainly way too short for me. But then I got these sailor pants, another big trend. And I have a pair of cream jeans that I got a big old spot on. But I put this, I don't know if you can see that, I put these two together with the Paul Green sneaker and women were going crazy. They were like, oh my God, what a great look. So I'm definitely gonna wear that in Arizona. That took a while to pull off. I had to try on a lot of stuff. Um, so that was my, my anthropology and then going back and meeting those guys and then getting up at like five in the morning to catch a flight to Florida. I basically for Florida threw the clothes back on that I wore from Boston to DC and I had my flip flops in my bag. So I just put those on once we landed. It was pretty chilly on Monday in Florida and it stayed chilly. I got to see my good friend June um, in Venice and she got me those earrings and I also went to one store in Venice and I got this little it's wrinkled because it was in the laundry but it's a little gauze shirt that they're everywhere this one the brand is uh, Michael Stars which is a big boutique brand so then from there my mom and I went shopping and I am so bummed that I don't have all of her loot because we nailed it. And I do have all the pictures in the Facebook group. So please look if you're interested. A lot of people wrote such nice things on them. But we started with two white pants and we ended up, she got two pants, a pair of coral shorts that fit her really nicely, a soft blue pant, and then I think she ended up, we went to two store, Coconuts, and this other really cool store in Florida, I think it was called Anthony's. Um, and we just went to town. And she got four bottoms, ordered a pair of jeans that weren't there, but we knew the size would fit. And probably five or six fresh tops. We had gone shoe shopping last year in Florida, so she was all set there. And she really just looked fantastic the shirt that she's got on in the picture with me was one of my favorites and that brand was oh it's escaping me habitat and i've seen that at a lot of boutiques so the strategy and the lesson there is white pants for the win if you can wear white pants not everybody's comfortable but white pants that fit i certainly wore my jeans a lot um that was a really fun day and then of course Another strategy that I always use when I'm going away these days is I love my brown belt, a brown, for this trip it was a sandal, sometimes it's boots, sometimes it's loafers, and then for this trip I brought this little bag, isn't it cute? I got this last year in Florida, um, it's a long chomp. And it's got the brown and it's really all I, I wore it with this outfit that I have on when I went out. So I wanted to share that with you. And then I also picked up this when I was at Chatham Bars Inn last year. I picked up this in the gift shop because it had the brown and the blue. And I actually used this. I brought this to Florida and I used this that Monday night that was really, really cold. So thinking ahead, thinking about layers, packing really tight, getting your airport look down that you can wear. 
there and home, thinking about the climate, thinking about the colors, that's how you do it.